Today we're going to continue with our GeoGebra exercises by learning how to create a net. Now a net is a flattened out three-dimensional solid or shape. This could be anything like a cube, prism, pyramid, or really any type of geometrical shape. When you cut out a net, you can fold it, glue it together, and see what it looks like in three dimensions. Now a three-dimensional shape is called three dimensionals or 3D. This is because it has those three dimensions, length, width, and height. The two most common measurements we need for a three-dimensional shape is volume and surface area. Volume, for example, will show us how much water a shape can hold. Surface area will show us how much area you would have to paint to cover the entire outside of that shape. Creating models like these geometry nets allow us to explore the more familiar two-dimensional shapes that go into making the three-dimensional one. Your next challenge is to create a pattern that you can cut and fold and make a model out of a solid shape. Our goal for this activity is to make a net out of a prism that has the coordinates of 2, 0, 2, 2, 0, 2, and 0, 0. We will then go ahead and give our prism an altitude of 3, and from there you will go ahead and learn how to create a net out of that solid prism. When creating your net, make sure you follow the directions that are listed in your Schoology page for reference. Once you have GeoGebra opened up, our next goal is to go ahead and create our net. We're going to be using our 2D and 3D graphics window for this part of the assignment. At the current time, by default, we have our algebra and 2D graphics window being displayed. Once we create our polygon, we'll remove that algebra window and replace it with the 3D graphics window. So now that we're ready to go, the first thing we need to do is to create a polygon in our 2D graphics window. We're going to do this by going up to our polygon tool, select polygon, and then plot the ordered pairs that are listed in our assignment on the graphics window. The first coordinates that we have are going to be 2, 0, then 2, 2, 0, 2, and then 0, 0. Remember that in order to complete your shape, you must go back to the first original coordinates in order to lock that shape into place. Once your square is created, the next step is to go and change the color and the opacity. So we're going to go up to that styles bar. We'll select any color that you want. And from there, we're going to change the opacity over to 75%. Once you have that 75%, go ahead and click on that styles bar to close it down. Now you have your polygon created and it's time to look at what this would look like in 3D. So in order to do this, we're going to grab the move tool. And from there, we're gonna go up to our menu bar, find that view tab. And from there, we're gonna remove the algebra window and we're gonna go ahead and replace that with the 3D graphics. Once that's done, go ahead and click on your screen to remove the toolbar. The next step is to go ahead and give our polygon some height. So in order to do this, I'm gonna click in the 3D graphics window. I'm gonna to go to my styles bar and give this some grid lines here. And from there, the next step is to go up to my pyramid tool and find extrude to prism. Now, once you select that extrude to prism, remember the next step is to go up and change the color before selecting my shape in that 3D graphics window. So I'm gonna go up to my styles bar and I'm gonna change it back to green. And then I'm gonna go and change that opacity to 75%. And from there, I can go ahead and click on my square in the 3D graphics window. From here, I'm going to go ahead and give this an altitude of 3. Once you place the altitude in, go ahead and select OK, and your shape should be extruded. Now that our shape is extruded, we're going to go and select the Move tool, and from there we should be able to see what our prism would look like. Now the whole point of this activity is to take that three-dimensional prism and unfold it or unpack it so that it now represents a two-dimensional shape. So in order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and click again in that 3D graphics window. Once I'm clicked, I'm going to go up to that pyramid tool again, and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says net. Now, once we select net, we're going to go ahead and click on it. And again, you're going to see that the color has changed. We're going to select a different color. This could be any color as long as it's not the same as what you've already selected. I'm going to go ahead and select blue for this, and I'm going to make sure that my opacity is set to 40%. So we don't want it to be as dark as the original shape. Once you have changed the color, we can go ahead and select that prism in the 3D graphics window. 
What that will do is basically take your shape and unfold it so that we can now see what it would look like in two dimensions. Once you have created that, go ahead and select the move tool. And from here, we can use our slider to basically animate what that net would look like. So here you can see as if we took that two dimensional shape and folded it up, that it would fold into that three dimensional prism. Again, if we slide the slider to the right, we could unpack it or unfold it and it would unfold into a two dimensional shape.